Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Everything Culinary with Chef Stephen Wolf. This evening, Chef Stephen is going to show us how to prepare salmon pinwheels. Take it away, Chef Steve. Hello everybody. And yes, we are going to make salmon pinwheels. And even though this is a large piece, I'm going to show you how simply it is to take that and make at least four pieces out of there. This was about a pound and a quarter of fish. Um, and a pound and a quarter of fish, if you can get about a six or eight ounce uh, portion, you can get about easily four out of that. Okay, um, this one actually came with skin on it, so I'm going to show you how to easily remove that skin. We're going to be seasoning this fish up with some basil from our garden, a nice fresh lemon, we got some fresh garlic cloves, and we're going to use a piece of onion. As you can see, this onion's already been chopped into because we always cook for two here and we always use what we have in the house. So here we have half an onion. We're not even going to use this whole onion. This is part of the seasoning. So before we get into the fish, um, I'm going to show you this, the, this seasoning and the flavoring. Because this is going to be a pinwheel, it's going to look like a pinwheel. That's where you get the name. And in order to do that, um, we're going to season inside the fish, roll it all up, and then start to cook it. It'll give you a nice presentation and everything else. So we're going to go ahead, everything's been washed and cleaned, and we're ready to go. So in order to do the basil, we all know you got to pick off the, the stems. Other herbs, um, such as uh, cilantro or parsley, you can use um, a bit of the stem in there, it won't hurt it. But in here, the stem is so thick, you really don't want to do that. So all we're doing is plucking off the stems. And uh, I'm going to ask Lisa to come in for a tight shot on how I actually um, easily chop up the basil. Now, you lay them all together, like you're making a cigar, because we all know how to roll cigars, but if you just use that Im imagination, we're just gonna take that, lay them all flat, and if you roll them all up, tighten a little bunch, and then with your knife skills, you're just gonna go and one chop through. If you keep chopping and chopping and chopping, what you're gonna do is you're gonna blacken your, your herbs, and it's going to turn into like a, a puree rather than a chop. And then now they're all going in that direction. Just change your hands. Go one, two, three times. And look at that. That's already done. Only a few slices through. Knife skills are so important. Then we're going to take a little bit of garlic. We like garlic in this house. So we're going to come over here and again give it a little chop. Now with the right knife skills, this amount of vegetables, it, you could put this into the... Um, into your little mini food chopper, but I like the integrity of hand chop. You don't pulse it, you don't purify it, you don't um, puree it, purify. So now you got some chopped garlic. Now you can go back and forth on this to make it a little bit finer if you want. But, and as we said, that's gonna be a seasoning. Now, the next seasoning. Like we said, not using the whole gar uh, whole onion. I'm going to use about this much. What would that be, Lisa? Maybe three or four tablespoons? I think so. What was that garlic clove? Maybe one garlic clove or one and a half garlic cloves. That might be a tablespoon, two tablespoons of onion. Now we're going to come in again and go real thin sliced on the onion. Why am I going so thin sliced? So that when I turn it like this and give it a little whack in the middle, and then we come over here. Now I'm gonna go again, super fine chop. I do not have to cut it a million times. You're gonna get a beautiful, nice little fine dice, which is what we want, because this is gonna be your, your seasoning for that fish. Now that little end piece, maybe we'll chop, throw that in some onions, uh, eggs later and have a little fried onion and eggs. So a little more chop down this, and look at that. It does not take long to make a little bit of a chopped marinade, seasoning, dressing. All right, just chop that all together because this is once very, very fine minced. A couple minutes on your dice and we're good to go, okay? The other seasoning is gonna be just a little bit of pepper, some salt, some lemon, and we're good to go. That fresh basil, you can smell that basil coming through and you can smell um, that nice fresh garlic. And we're gonna take a little lemon, we'll squeeze that. So, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna take this away. I wanna get all the vegetables done out of the way before the fish comes in because 
if you don't use all this, you can actually use this to make maybe a, a, a quick vinaigrette, use it in a sauce, if you don't use all this. So we're gonna scrub a little dish out of the cabinet. We're gonna put that seasoning, marinade, dressing, whatever you wanna call it. And we'll use it over there. Now I'm not gonna worry about cleaning this board up too much. I mean, I got, I got most of this stuff off of there. The reason I'm not gonna worry about that is because we're gonna be using it on the fish and that's gonna be the fish. Look, they gave us a nice thing from the fish store. So now here's your fish. They try to make it pretty. They, this is the belly part of the fish. Um, on a fish like this, there might be a little bit, this is the head part I could tell because of the shape of it. So this is the first part of the fish. As it gets tinier, it gets to the tail. The tail end's not bad, but it's hard to, to work with this. So you want the head or, or as close to the middle as possible. I'm just gonna trim this a little bit. Um, by the head, there's that little bit of um, filament. Nothing wrong with it, but it's just not gonna be, uh, in this dish, you wanna have everything nice and cleaned. Yeah, there's some of your herbs, but that's not a problem. So, like I said, this here is enough for about four people. If you go about two inches thick, there you got your salmon filet. Okay? And then we're gonna go again, two, and the last piece might be a little bit smaller. Maybe you give that to grandma because she's not as hungry as everybody else. Um, or maybe that just might be your afternoon snack as leftovers, <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe I cut the first one a little bit big. Now, how do we get the skin off of that? Very, very simply. You're gonna take this piece, a little bit in, a little bit of waste, and then you're just gonna aim it down. When you aim it down, you're going towards that skin, and then I'm gonna switch hands because that's the way I do it, I mean. And then you're just gonna slide straight across, aiming kind of down, not into the meat. And look at that. No that's meat beauty. wasted, okay? We'll do that a couple more times. Now, if we were doing this at the restaurant, we would do the whole fish and ha not have to do this each individually one, but here we are at home and it's just easier here with my tools. That one, I felt my hand go up a little bit. I got a little chunk on that one. And last time, here we go. Always away from yourself. You could have the fish store do this. And the funny thing is, they're gonna weigh the fish with the skin on because they wanna charge you for that weight. Because look at that, I mean, you could eat the skin, but not in this dish. I'm gonna trim that just a little bit. Not much waste. And then here, because that's it. Very tippy part. I'll show you how you're gonna get a nice piece out of that too. Okay, so there's your fish. All nice and cleaned up. Nothing really wasted. Yeah, you can cook that skin up and have nice fried crispy skin. Okay, so now, we're gonna start making our rolls. Now we get into the fun part. Okay, the little one first. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go with your hand flat. It's gonna be kind of squiggly. You just wanna hold it all together, but don't go all the way to the end. What you're doing is making a big long ribbon. See that nice ribbon? Okay. Don't worry if it's not pretty. When we roll it up, it'll be pretty. Again, see this shape of it? You got a flat end and a fat end. That's the belly end, that's the top of the fish. Kind of go where it starts to get thick and go and open it up. See that? And that's the trick. We're gonna do it a couple more times. Chef Steven? Yes. Can you try to open your hand a little so we can see? Like, up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. A little bit of uh, direction there is fine because I do not know what this looks like. Come here, Ryan. So open up like this. Fingers up. Fingers up. As best you can. Well, it's... I know, I'm you just... You can also come behind me if you like. Okay. So, Perfect. all we're doing is changing the shape of your hand. We always hold... I always tell people to grab onto that blade. Here, I'm kind of holding it back a little bit. And you're not really using a lot of muscle. You're just kind of going along the board. Your hand's just a guide. You're not really holding it. You're just kind of going there. And just remember, don't go all the way through because you need to roll that up. Okay? Good. So, I'm going to take the dirties out of the way. Wash the hands a little bit. Okay. 
because nobody likes dirty hands. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is season a bit. I always pour into my hand and then pinch it because with kosher salt you can really see how much you got there. Okay, that was about the perfect amount. Then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of pepper. If you wanna spicy it up, you can throw a little cayenne in there, you throw a little hot sauce in there if you want, do what you like. So here we're gonna take some of the, our mixture. So now we don't have the fish, my dirty hands with the fish, uh, messing up your seasoning here if you use it for something else. Okay. Nothing complicated so far, right? Nope. Um, just basil, some garlic, some onion, salt, pepper. I think I'm gonna use all of that. That was a pretty, <laughs> pretty good estimation there. Maybe I've done this before, I don't know. Let's see. All right, give a little squeeze with the lemon. Some of the seeds are out there. Here's a little chef trick. You can use a little strainer if you want, but the chef trick is we just kind of pour it through our hands. That way, if we have to, we can catch any seeds that come out. You could use a strainer if you like, or you can have your lemon juice already squeezed out through a strainer and then just pour it on. But there we go. Look at that nice lemon right on there. Maybe we'll get a couple lemon slices out of that for later for decoration. And now you have the thin end. Remember, your fat end is gonna be a little bit easier to roll and your thin end will be nice to give it a nice flush end. Now, you're gonna lay it down flat. Now it looks a little bit like a filet mignon. And if I, my hands were clean, maybe at least can uh, manage to grab a, uh, a toothpick out of there. Just shake them out. There we go, I'll grab one of those. This was the other one. <laughs> I love the special effects here. Look at that. Now they look like, they look small, but remember that is solid meat in there. <laughs> okay, you're getting ahead of me here. I still gotta roll the other ones. Okay, so remember, this is solid meat and because the shape, if you got the big long piece, it would have looked fine, but now, you get this and then when you decorate up the plate, you know, you put like a big pile of mashed potatoes or a big pile of rice, you lay this on top of it. This is like your crowning deliciousness right here. Okay, just a little toothpick to hold it in. And all this stuff starts falling off, which is fine. Put it into this one. And here's your little baby one. Here's your little tester. Maybe this one will be the one for you to test while you're in the kitchen and make sure it's good enough for your guests. Okay, this might be Chef Steve's little extra piece because one piece might not be enough for him. All right, so that's what it looks like if Lisa gets a nice close-in shot on that. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and sear it. The, the stove has been, the stove. The pan, the skillet. The, the skillet has been preheating a little bit, so it's not gonna take much longer for it to heat up. I love cast iron. You can heat the heck out of it and um, it won't burn the pan. The pan won't melt or anything like that. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're also gonna preheat this oven. So this oven, we love our toaster oven because it really accommodates four portions very easily. And um, that's what we're gonna do. So from the beginning, chop up some vegetables, put into a little cup. So if you don't use it all, you can use it for something else. Um, clean your fish. You can have the fish already clean without skin on it. I happen to have gotten the fish with the skin on it, so I showed you an extra step. Uh, but you can buy clean fish, um, cut them into portions. Um, you can buy the individual portions at the fish market, but they sell those little individual portions, more money per pound. You lose money per pound because they're doing the work for you. Um, so I went ahead and took that big cut, cut them down into portion sizes. Now that was about a pound and a quarter of fish. I got almost four portions. You don't need to have a big giant slab of fish. You can if you want, but that's a nice portion of fish with your side dishes and everything else. So here we go. We're going to take this over to the, the pan. We're going to get a little uh, of a mint because I don't know how hot that pan is. Are there any questions, Lisa? Are you going to do some kind of um, side sauce, like a lemon butter sauce? If we have time, we like to keep these to uh, about 10 minutes. 
but um, I can talk about that while that's steering. You hear that sound? That's the sound we want. So all we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna sear to one side, give it a good two to three minute cook. We're gonna flip it over, give it another two to three minute cook. Then, then you're seared off. Then we're gonna finish cooking it in the oven. It's gonna cook in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll take it out and we'll serve it. We will show you on a later post the finished product with the recipe and we hope that you will enjoy this dish. Thank you. Have a good night.